But what I do, I've been doing it for now over 20 years, developing the story through what I call media corroboree, as I'm um, actually using media by telling now what you know, like the storytelling ways, what we've been doing since time began. Just using this brand new medium to actually create a you know avenue for our mob to have a balance between dreaming and reality. So you know that's one of the major focuses. You know I use you know the cameras, the sound gear, the, you know you know making music and creating song and stuff like that as you know as a tool of engagement more about um the you know the big the main aim for it is actually create media you know and but not only media but I really want to embrace our people with culture understanding of culture making sure culture stays strong in community making sure culture gets understand and how important it is because we're dealing with you know the oldest living culture in the world and not only our own people need to understand that but the rest of the rest of the world's got to understand how important this culture is and I've been traveling right around this country now for years and number one thing you see it's slowly slowly disappearing in a lot of communities especially the element of respect you know um, without respect you know a lot of people they lose that self-identity then lose that self-pride lose Lose, lose a lot, you know, just by losing that one little element of respect. And if they don't respect themselves, they, you know, they got a hard problem respecting other people. So I use, you know, like I was saying, I use culture and I use media as a way to, you know, engage with these young people. Every young person in the community loves hip hop today. So, so what we do is we create this hip hop song, then we create a film clip with the hip hop song, all within the two weeks. So once we finish, we put on a big, like a community gathering, so all the young fellas can showcase their talent, what they've done. Then, you know, everyone in community want to see their kid on TV and want to hear their song. And if the song's all about these issues that people like sweeping under the carpet, you know, especially like education, you know, unemployment, you know, deaf in community, you know, there's so much, so much stuff that people don't talk about. It's just you know, countless, you know, it goes on forever and ever. You can't just deal with one issue in community. There's so many other issues that attach to that one issue. So, you know, you know like I was saying, you know, my girl, my girl finished year 12 last year, you know, looking to go to university next year, but through that, through that gap of, you know, 12 months, trying to get employed in a, you know, in a racist town like Gundawindi, it's impossible, you know? You know, it's really impossible for a young Aboriginal person to get employed today because you still got this racist behind the covers, you know, behind the scenes things that happen that people don't like talking about. They, you know, it's what we call, you know, covering their eyes with a piece of wool so you really can't see what's going on. You know, but when you live shit and breathe black, you know, you see it all the time. And it's sad because, you know, we're supposed to live in this lucky country. Is it lucky for us or who is it lucky for? That's the big question, you know, because right now, you know, we've got a death rate, you know, you know, not even talking about young people committing suicide, you know, just, and then our elders, you know, we're losing them by the thousands right around our country. You know, they're chucking so much responsibility and forgetting about what we call tribal law, you know, no one's really taking that balance in, in, in account. They're just looking at how we civilise or simulation of these Aboriginal people in this brand new way. And, you know, it's hard to say because I see it all the time, you know, in, in every community. You know, I was just out of Alice Springs. You know, culture's really strong out there, but at the same time, you've got these elements of what we call this modern day society invading into that country. You know, there, there's a lot of balance there, but at the same time, you know, once young man become, you know, become a young man from law, they actually leave that education system, you know, and, it's, and a similar thing back out here in the wider world where our young people don't go for that borer or initiation, they still look for that role and become that young man or young woman. So, you know, when, when they want to become that young man or young woman at their time, most of the time it's all about, you know, drugs and alcohol. Like, that's what I do for a living, you know, he's like, I don't create art, 
I live it, and that's what I do. You know, you know, ever since I, you know, I left school at year eight, I was, you know, 16 year old. Teachers kicked me out of school for spitting on the cement, spot on the cement. They kicked me out of school. You know, and within that week later, I, you know, look, because I, was, you know, I love painting. Started painting, created painting. Mob come with a video camera. I seen the opportunity to make my paintings move. So um, I took that opportunity on, won an AFI award, and that was 20 years ago, and I'm still doing it, you know. Started creating plays, taking young people all over the country. You know, there's too many young people to count, uh, you know, who I took and, you know, I just done a, I took big, oh, there was three young fellas from Palm Island who sung about, sung about day uncle, you know, Gumiji. And we went to a big style and up gig there in Brisbane and they just blew them away, you know. Them young fellas never been off the island before. But these are the opportunities that young people can do once they get the, you know, when they get the opportunity to do anything. But it comes out back down to trust, you know, and a lot of people don't trust our young people. It's, it's the modern day way, you know, you're labelled and put in boxes. You know, once you've been labelled and put in a box and say, you know, tell you, you know, mum and dad and everyone else is telling you you're little Johnny, you become little Johnny. And that's the saddest thing about this modern day society because everyone's been labelled, everyone's been put in a box, you know, and everyone's got their role to play, but it's the same way with Black Hollow World, you know, but a lot of people forgetting their responsibility. You know, like the old saying goes, it's a lot easier not to care than to care, you know, so what I've been doing all my life, I've been just, you know, caring for my culture, and that's what I do, I love my culture, and you now that's what it's all about.